Hey guys, what's up? It's Monk Lazanki. So, at the moment I've been slaying, I have been slaying quite a bit the last few days, and I have a few updates and progress and stuff to talk about. The first of all thing is I wanted to say is I haven't made a video in a few days, and that's uh, partly because it's been really busy at my house. Um, my family, I, I still do live with my family just because I have not been able to find any full-time consistent work. As of yet, the job market these days is absolutely awful, but... Um, we are all moving house, so we're moving to a different town, so there's just been a lot of background noise and a lot of packing boxes and loading stuff into trucks, and it just hasn't really been able to... It hasn't been a good situation to make a video when there's just so much background noise all the time and lots of people in the house and stuff. So, um, also, my computer monitor broke the other day. Well, yesterday. Yesterday morning, it just would not turn on, and it was making this strange clicking sound, so... Um, I fiddled with it for a couple hours and figured out it's just busted. You know, the monitor was like seven years old. Um, my computer is also seven years old. It was the monitor that came with the computer. And I figure, you know, since I'm planning on, you know, building my own PC, uh, pretty soon, eventually, once I have the funds to, uh, I might as well just go out and get a nice monitor. So I did. I got a HP 20 inch blacklight LED monitor. Um, and it's a widescreen, so it's really nice. Uh, it just looks a lot better, has much higher resolution. Um, than the previous monitor I have, which also means the video quality might be a bit better. I'm not completely sure how that's going to work out yet, but um, anyway, that's great. So, nice new monitor now. It's much bigger, it's much nicer. And also, um, just with Slayer lately, uh, the reason why I've been slaying is I've well, I've been trying to dungeoneer, and to be honest, dungeoneering on World 77 with some of the people there has just been extremely unpleasant to say the least. Uh, a lot of the people on World 77 are not very nice to talk to or dungeoneer with and are quite rude. So that has just made dungeoneering not the best experience. Um, I've done a floor a day, obviously, because I have the dungeoneering daily challenge, and usually I can get a couple people from the uh, FC to dungeon with me at least once a day or so. So that's pretty cool. Um, also, um, Slayer has been going great because I'm at 18.3 uh, mil Slayer at the moment. I want to get to 20 mil Slayer. I think that would just be a nice little goal set for myself. And I am keeping everything in a tab. And I'm not exactly sure uh, when I'm going to stop slaying uh, or what my present goal is at the moment. But eventually, uh, whenever I've reached whatever goal I plan on setting for myself, I will have a video where I'm like selling my Slayer tab. So that should be pretty cool. Um, I know a lot of people like videos where they sell Slayer tabs, and I haven't done one of those in a long time. I did price check my Slayer tab um, yesterday, and it's currently around between 45 and 50 mil. It really depends if everything sells for the GE prices because a lot of things are crashing right now, um, as it seems like everything's always crashing. It's just a weird phenomenon. But um, So I have made a decent amount of Slayer. I've pretty much just kept everything since 99 Slayer till now. Um, and considering how much Slayer XP that is, that's like... Um, 5 mil Slayer XP to only have 50 mil from 5 mil Slayer XP, that's not really a whole lot compared to how much money you could make uh, like a couple years ago, but that's okay. Um, it's not the biggest deal. Money isn't, of course, the object anymore. It's just a nice thing that you get along the wayside. Uh, I guess XP, in a way, would be my um, objective at the moment. I am going for 200 mil defense. When I say going for, I don't mean like that's my number one goal in RS right now. I am going to do nothing but train defense. It just means that's something I would like to get, and I guess I am in a way aiming for that someday. So just like setting the bar pretty high for a goal to reach sometime in the near future. So I am getting pretty close to 50 mil defense XP, so that should be good. Um, one other thing I wanted to talk about is Jagex supposedly um, buffed effigy drops, like made them more common. How they said what they did on the forums is they uh, the scaled the effigy drops to monsters combat level since uh, after EOC now uh, a lot of the monsters are much higher combat level than they were before EOC and of course uh, a monsters combat level pretty much determines how uh, common it is to drop an effigy like for example these things are level 148 and so and like Dark Beast are level 150 and most things were much lower level than that before EOC most things were like between around level 110 to 130, I would say, most Slayer monsters were. So now that uh, the effigy drops are scaled to their combat level, apparently that would mean effigy drops are more common. 
and I had a lot of people telling me they were getting about one effigy every two hours at QBD for the first few days after that update. And I don't know if Jagex like decided people are getting free XP, this is terrible, and decided to re-nerf them or what. But um, I have only gotten one effigy in 700k Slayer XP, um, so not really sure what that's all about. But uh, it would be nice if I started to get some effigies as well. I'm using them on agility just because, um, well... I have everything else at 99. Using an effigy on Dungeoneering feels like the biggest waste in the world because you can do a 18 to 20 minute floor and get twice as much XP that an effigy would give you. Um, so using an effigy on that, especially just because an effigy is so rare, just feels like the biggest waste in the world. So I wouldn't do that. Also because Dungeoneering is a skill that well, I kind of enjoy, I'm not going to say I really enjoy Dungeoneering. Um, I enjoy the skill itself. I don't enjoy Dungeoneering with the people on World 77. That would probably be the uh, the best thing for me to say. So, anyway, that's a few updates for me. Um, I also have one other clip to show at the end of this video, uh, which I did not do commentary over. I'll have to do some sort of, like, post-recording commentary and try to make it somewhat exciting. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to get a live commentary, but I did have a Jad Slayer task. Well, I got the Tazar Slayer task, and I decided to take on the challenge with Jad. Um, I had not done a fight caves in EOC yet. Uh, of course, I have done a fight kill in EOC and completed it on the first try, so I thought, you know, how hard could a fight caves be if the fight kill wasn't too difficult? And uh, it turns out, you know, well, you'll see. You'll see what happens. So, anyway, that's all for this video. Um, I will play that clip where I am fighting Jad now, and you'll see whether I got my fire cape or not, but uh, that's about all. If you have anything to say to me, uh, join my friends chat, which is just Monkle Zunky, and uh, I'm always in there when I'm online, well, usually in there when I'm on online, and always free to talk, so that's all, and yeah, farewell. So this is my Jad fight. Of course, I did record the whole thing, but I decided not to show it all. Um, this is the part where, you know, the healers have already come out, and I did speed it up a bit. Um, unfortunately, Jad does have a ton of health, uh, so it did take quite a while to actually fight him. I just used momentum because I think it's a bit easier to prayer switch. Also, uh, one thing I figured out you could do is you could just put your prayers in the action bar, um, and you could switch just by pressing the uh, number keys instead of actually having to click on the prayers, so that was nice. But halfway through the fight, my um, action bar froze up on me. It does that just out of the blue sometimes, like you sometimes press the keys and nothing happens um, so I did get hit pretty hard once but other than that uh, I finished Jad and I only used like one and a half prayer renewal potions the whole fight caves and then I ate a whole bunch of shark just because uh, the healers do do some damage and I had to save up a bit because I didn't want to get one hit by Jad but uh, I did manage to do it I got my fire cape so that was pretty cool well my second fire cape but I figured I would just do that for fun. It's not really worth doing um, because the fight caves take quite a while because all the monsters have a ton of health. Um, so it's not very good Slayer XP-wise. If you want to do this as a, as a task, I wouldn't recommend doing it. But it was just kind of fun to try.